Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Stem. I would like to welcome everyone for the Messel Racing League round, the penultimate race of the season, round number nine, coming from Watkins Glen International Grand Prix circuit. I'll be bringing you live action for this race, and today we can see a new drivers champion announced at the end of the race. We only have seven participants, seven race participants uh, today in the race. I'd like to remind you of the driver standings. Nemes is racing leading the way going into this race with. Can you load, please? Some reason. Nemes is racing leading the championship with 323 points and two wins to his name. He won last week in Daytona Oval and he'll be looking to make it back to back victories today. But then we have Shaza on 247 points with two wins to his name. Last week he did have a DNF, he could have made it three in a row, it didn't happen. And now all Val has to do is finish sixth if Shaza wins and Val will take the Drivers' Championship. Motion Lago in P3 in the driver's standings, 240 points to his name, 7 behind Shaza. Battle for second, definitely on. And that'll be interesting to see. Bima Black in P4, 192 points. Jakupu P5, 169 points. And Ragno in P6, yeah, P6 with 168. Nibloodan in P7 with 150. GFD, 147 lineup with exact amount of points as an Altanovich in P9. P10 is Mark, 133, 138 points to the name of the Dutch driver. Then the Austrian of Ketchy is down in P11 with only 130 points written to his name so far this season. Old German P12 with 130 points as well. Subaru down in penultimate position of the standings. 106 points and Kevin Jacobs rounds up the standings P14 with 123 points. Mm -hmm. So we do have a formation up here. And it'll be interesting to see who will get the advantage. Who will take the advantage of This race and their starting position. Due to reverse grid, Valve will be starting last. Then we will have Shaz in P7, Virtual Lager P6, Bia Black P5, Dragon P4, Noltanovich in P3, Silvaro and Kevin to have the front row of the grid. Oh, oops, nope. Don't leave the session. <laughs> so we're in formation lock. We are into sector 3. We have just a few corners left before Kevin will start us off into this race. Hello, Galactic Skull in the chat. For the finals of my corner, Kevin will be shooting it off. Kevin will be shooting it off through the final corner. And. Oh, hold on. There we go. The race has started. Kevin pulls away from Subaru in P2. And Alton in P3. Ragnar in P4. Motion Lago uh, in P5. 
Beam of Black and P6 going side by side with Val, who makes the move on Beam of Black, and now he'll try and pressure on Merchant Lago. Going down in sector 1 split. And also in towards turn 5 and 6. Val the inside takes P5, and then Ragnar will be his next rival on track as he makes a mistake, goes on the grass. Doesn't benefit him whatsoever, and now Val is in P5 and in perfect championship position to take it. And oh my goodness me, there's Ragnar, and I believe that was an Altanovich that had some sort of contact and they resolved in a crash. And yeah, there we go. Val is up into P3, Shaza in P6. We'll be looking a lot for them to today. And Val is on the podium positions and he is well to get the title here today. In the meantime, Kevin Jacobs is putting pressure onto Subaru who took the lead of the race. He has taken the lead of the race. And Kevin goes a bit wide, Mushla went wide a bit as well. And Arnold Sandwich is quite a bit back, 10 seconds behind Ragnar. So he has a lot of work to do. Just in P5, Kevin, the Merchant Lago gets past Kevin as something happened to him, we missed it. Something happens to Kevin as he now drops back into P5, only to Val into P2. And now Val will try and find a way past to 4 little race. 3 tenths. 4 tenths is the gap to Subaru. We're returning to Val and no that's Subaru who is into the pit and it's only been five minutes into the race as Val takes the lead of the race putting himself into back-to-back -back victory position just now as if we remember he won last week round number eight Daytona Oval he won that quite comfortably I believe it was about 20 seconds to the next car if I remember correctly and now he is in a perfect position, he is leading the race. Murshin Lago up in P2, Shaza in P3. Shaza needs to catch up and win this race if he wants to have a title opportunity into the final race. And so far, 3.5 seconds and the gap is increasing and it does not look good for him as he goes by on the grass. But I believe that was a, a ten bit of lag instead. Um, and we have Bean Black and Kevin Jacobs only six times behind each other on the road. So I might say a crack battle between them two as Martian Lago is now 1.8 seconds behind the race of the Val. And look at this beautiful run from Kevin. Shaza pulled into the pits. Kevin had a beautiful run on... No, sorry, Beyond Black had a beautiful run on Kevin. That's right. Got, my uh, got the names confused there. And now Martian Lago is eight, 7 tenths behind Val. So he must have made a mistake that dropped him down a bit. He definitely dropped some pace. And it's 5 tenths now.
who go back on board with Beam of Black as he is only half a second behind Kevin. Oh, and Beyond Black makes a mistake, goes wide, and he drops back to a second now. As Motion Lago continues on, Val is pulling into the pits. So the red tires must have been going on the cliff already, and Beyond Black following Val going into the pit as well. So the top three has now changed and they are yet to pit. Motion Lago is in the way in today's Grand Prix. Kevin Jacobs up in P2 and Ragno up in P3 as he, we just saw him collide on the wall. Let's see. Val is coming back on track in P5 so he's in a perfect champion position and he rejoins ahead of Shaza. So there we go, Val has overcut Shaza in the pits. Which puts Val in... Which gives Val a massive favour actually towards uh, the championship standings. As now, he only... The only thing he has to do is really just stay really close to Shaza. He doesn't have to overtake him anymore, he doesn't have to battle him as much. He only needs to finish in P6 if Shaza wins. The gap to leader is 33 seconds. Shaz, the motion like a pit at the meantime, lap 6 dies, going into lap 7. Let's see, will Kevin follow in? No, Kevin stays out. Will Ragnall make a move to the pits? And yes he does. So there we go, Ragno and Altanovic, he is staying out after the spin on the first lap with Ragno. And Val is into the final corner now and he will definitely return to P3. As there we go, Val for turn one and will he take motion lag? Oh no, it's really close between the two of them. All the guns right behind him. So we might see a battle right here for the final podium position. Will motion lag try and get the podium today? Let's see. Daniel is towards turn five and six. And oh, there we go. Some con I believe there was some contact as motion lag has went wide. Yep, that, uh, there was some contact I just saw on the replay there. Uh, Val lets the motion lag go back through, so he definitely analyzes that it was his mistake as Val has to really defend from Shaza there and motion lag getting caught out by that. Uh, just making a mistake. And falling back. As Shaza is now promoted into P3, Val in P4. And uh, he's letting Motion go back through, so I think Val might have made contact on his screen. Um, not that I've seen of at least. Maybe it's just the camera angle that was that great at that point. But anyway, um, Val is in P5, Motion Lago in P4. Shaza in P3, so Shaza is not in a position to keep fighting for the championship. He needs to win. He must win this race if he wants to have a go next week. And Val makes the move of the inside into turn one. Made that look easy. Made that look easy. And now the next car ahead is Shaza. But again, he doesn't have to overtake him necessarily. He can finish behind him like this. And that'll be Val securing the championship.
But it does look like the Val wants to try and close down the gap to try and have a battle against his championship rival Shaza as we're yet to see a face up from Kevin and Anal as the gap is actually quite big if you think about it uh, 10 seconds is the gap and Anal Tanovich stays out as Shaza and Val are separated by a second and slowly they're starting to catch up And there we go, less than a second, Seven, eight tenths is the gap between the two contenders. The gap is still closing in. Shaza is going to be pressured by Val as Anatanovich pulls himself into the pit, stops. Let, he will let most likely everyone back through at this point. Um, despite the pit of right here is actually pretty long and slow as well. So, yeah, I see him falling down into P8. As we hit the 15 minute mark on the race, less than 15 minutes until we find out will we see the new championship of the MS Only Racing League or will it go down to the season finale next week. Val, 6 cents behind, slipstream into the fast chicanes if you really close down the gap. But he made a side mistake himself, which does let Shaza to take some breathing space to himself now. 7 tenths is the gap now, 5 tenths, so Val really closed it in through one corner and yeah, looks like that Val seems to be getting the better entrance to the corners but Shaza a bit better than Val on the exits. Shaza takes a wide, the gap is 2 tenths. Val is looking to get past him as soon as possible now. Val wants to win this championship in style. He wants to finish ahead of his rival to prove that Val deserves this championship as Shasta goes extremely wide there in the, at the exit of the ultimate corner. Giving Val the run down into our turn one. Shasta tries to defend, breaking the toe. Val fakes it to the inside, moves back to the racing line, breaks. Little contact has been made between the two drivers, Val hitting the rear end of Shaza as I believe he did lose that tiny bit, going after the fake E-Rouge as I would call it actually. And look at this, really aggressive from Shaza, but he's doing everything not to let his championship rival take the win of the championship today. Val is right behind him, two tenths is the gap, let's go back on board Val. Val tries to find a way to get past Shaza. I'd like to remind you that Val is in the championship position. Shaza really, ooh, 
bit of a questionable of what Shelta is doing there. Uh, closing the door on Val, not leaving him any space in the world. Uh, Val will be annoyed by that. Into the final corner. He seems to get a better traction out of it. Yeah, Shazza is really aggressive today over that, I'd like to point out. Really aggressive driving from Shazza today, as I can see on the minimap, someone has fallen round. And that's Subaru, but let's go back on board here. Val trying to get past him. Oof. Switching there across the track onto the better racing line, and look at this now. Val up the inside of Shaza. Shaza tries to keep a red nose. Can he make it? Can he do it? Can he keep the position? Yes, he can for just now. He keeps it, but can Val get back on him now? Val doesn't even need to get past Shaza, I'd like to mind just but he's doing this for, for the action of the race. He wants to prove that he is deserving this championship. Val wants the back-to-back -back victories to win the championship. But oh, look at this! Shaza makes a mistake, goes deep into the uh, goes deep under braking, and now Val takes P2, and Shaza is down in P3. But round the outside, the foot of the ultimate corner, Shaza, beautiful move from. Shaza, what a that was! Jesus, that was beautiful! And Val updates it in towards turn 1, Shaza nearly shut in the door on Val, really aggressive once again. The gap between... I just realized something, Mursha Lago has been catching up as Shaza and Nemesis Racing have been bouncing out for the past 5 minutes-ish. Round the outside of turn 5. Doesn't get a contact between the two drivers. Shaza really slow for turn 7. So, turn 8, sorry. Um, and Val just hitting him in the rear. Didn't really have anywhere to go. But now, round the outside, can Val make it in towards turn 10? No, he can. Turn 11, sorry. I keep getting my numbers confused. The right, this good, they're going to do by side by side and Val on the inside. Can he make it this time round? Yes, he can. Val into P2 and into provisional lead of the race as Kevin is yet to pin, but Val makes a huge mistake. And now Shazza will get back into P2. This is beautiful battle. We now have a free way battle for P2 in this race. And what should like and be a black at the back? He's joining in, he is going to make a four cars for one position this is mental scenes we're seeing here for the lead of the ch for the championship and not only the track position here as well so we have a ding dong bow shells of all motion lago and dia black is just at the background as somebody has loved the session and Altanovich has been disqualified i wonder if that is for speeding in the pit lane But nevertheless, in towards turn 10, can Val find it a gap to go past Shaza? No, he can't. Shaza has been really aggressive so far this race on his defending. But so far, he's doing extremely well to keep ahead of Val. Murchilago makes a mistake. Demon Black might try and capitalize on that, actually. Um, And now we're looking at the cockpit from Val's view. Round the old side. Can he make it? No, he can't. He's still trying to find a way past. And now this time round, slip tree. Val fakes it to the inside and to the old side. Can he make it? Round the old side of turn one. No, he can. He has to stay behind. As we can see at the back, 
Bima Black is going up the inside of Murchin Lago down into our zone 2 and 3, the fake E Rouge of Formula 1. And Bima Black is promoting himself into P4 of this Grand Prix. Now he will have a go at Val. Two tenths is the gap between the two championship contenders, I'd like to remind you. And up the inside, Val goes in turn 10 and he gets it. But Shaza will try and look once again, get, get back into P2. But no, he doesn't. Val is in P. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kevin, Kevin is off. Kevin find himself issues. And now, <laughs> the massive train of four cars behind has caught up to him and that is a disaster class and Subaru has retired from the race but that is a disaster class for Kevin he was leading by a fair gap I would like to mention as well and now it all came down to nothing and there we go he's into the pits as Val takes the lead of the penultimate race of the Metal Racing League in the car championship 6 minutes on the clock remaining Val is in the lead, Shaza in P2, gets pressure by Beaming Black in P3, and Murchilago is right behind him in P4 as well, Ragnall is in P5, and Kevin Jacobs is in the pit stops, and he's down in last place in P6. Now Beaming Black is pressuring Shaza, I think Shaza may as well just give up at this point. Val is increasing the gap, it's 2 seconds now, 2.2 actually. The gap is increasing massively and I think Val is right on the way. We still have a battle for P2 in the meantime. Beam Black is right behind Murchin Lago went extremely wide. And now Beam Black is pressuring Shaza. And he can't find a way passing yet as now Murchin Lago will try and get back past Beam, uh, on Beam Black. And now Beam of Black out the inside of Shaza in towards turn 13. Gets an have done on Shaza. Shaza is down into P3. And surely that is the championship over for him this season. Three minutes on the clock until we find out the name of the new champion who is. 6.3 seconds in the lead of this race. Murchilago now pressuring Shaza. Shaza's tires must be falling off the cliff. As now Murchilago is on the hunt for that podium position. Can he get past? A bit of contact made between the two drivers. 
Shazer really has to park it on some of those corners. His Sars, his Sars aggression must be killing him at this point of the race. It must be killing him. Amarchin Lago tries to go around the outside into our turn 13, but he doesn't get it. No, sorry, turn 12 that was. Uh, my bad. <laughs> my, my bad counting. Uh, down into our turn 14. Doesn't find it. And down the main straight, Shaza closing down the gap, defending his line. Bit of contact between the two drivers, 1 minute 20 on the timer. Murchlago has approximately one lap, I would say, to get past him. Well, no, sorry, two laps because Val will start a new lap, indeed. He will start a new lap. So, in theory, there's one lap and a half to go for Murchilago to get past Shaza. And the outside into our turn 12. Murchin Lago gets it. He gets him. Round the outside of turn 12. Beautiful move from Murchin Lago to get onto the podium positions. Uh, in the meantime, this is going to be the final lap of this race. Val has already started. It. This is the final lap. Boshaza is now an entire second behind Murchin Lago. And. I think that is it for Shaza. I really do think that is it. His tires falling off the cliff. And for turn 12, going down into towards turn 13, the Masters Racing has a 7 second lead in this race. For the penultimate corner, into the final corner of the circuit, the Masters Racing is going to take the Masters Online Racing League IndyCar Championship title with one race to go, making it back to back victories on his counter here today. Congratulations to Val. Beamer Black is going to come across line weaving down the main straight in P2. Motion Lago is going to secure P3 as oh my goodness me Shaza has fallen back by over five seconds over the course of one lap. He lost some massive time on that final lap of the race. Five seconds was the time he lost. That's how much he was losing there at the end of the race. Kevin Jacobs was going to come across the final corner to finish in P5. And Pure Ragno is going to come across the line, locking up into the final corner. And this is going to be P6 for Ragno. It's points of versus championship tally, but it's not the result he wanted to get out of this race today. But in the meantime, here are the race classifications from Watkins Glen International Grand Prix. Nemesis Racing 
takes the victory 12 seconds near enough ahead of Beyond Black. Morchilago runs around the podium. Shaz NP4 really unlucky there not to win the dra uh, not to put a fight against Val in this race to maybe get into the next r race for the season finale and to uh, see who can win the championship. But that's a secured Val takes the <laughs> title to himself. Kevin Jacobs finishing in P5. Ragnar in P6 and Subaru in P7 with Anil Tanovic getting disqualified from the race results. But that'll be it for today, guys. I've been Mr. Sim. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you same place, same time next week for the final race of the IndyCar season. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good night and goodbye. Bye bye everyone.